Today I'd like to show you how to construct a profit and loss statement from an IB past paper. So the profit and loss statement in front of us today is from John Byte, the owner of a retail store, and he's recorded the items below during the year ending December the 31st, 1999. It gives you some information about the current assets ratio, but this is for another part of a question and really uh, has nothing to do with what we're trying to do. So uh, the question is, prepare an income statement, trading and profit and loss account. Now, students will hopefully know that uh, there are three sections to the profit and loss statement, and the first section is the trading account, and the second section is the profit and loss account. The third section, the appropriation account, is not included here. So we only have to worry about the first two sections of the account. Now, when you're presented with information here, you'll see the items listed and then the value on the right in the right-hand column. Now, some of these items are not for profit and loss statements. They are for balance sheet. So the first thing that we need to do is to run through each item in the left hand column and classify it. If you have a highlighter you can do uh, the same thing, maybe use uh, one colour for uh, profit and loss item items and another for the balance sheet. So let's start here with stock. Now stock is a balance sheet item so I'll put BAL for that. Coming down to the next item, vehicles, that is a fixed asset. Stock, of course, uh, the previous one was uh, a current asset. So that is a balance sheet item. Coming down to building, that is a fixed asset, so that is a balance sheet item. Sales is part of the trading account, and it's the first item, so therefore it is profit and loss. Owner's equity is part of capital, so that also is a balance sheet item. Accounts payable is likewise uh, creditors, which is part of current liabilities, so therefore another balance sheet item. Accounts receivable is part of current assets, that is another balance sheet item. Cost of goods sold is uh, the variable costs of producing the goods for the, for the company, which is part of the trading account and must be deducted from sales. So that is P and L. Long-term loan, that is part of long-term liabilities, so that is part of the balance sheet. Bank money, which is money in the bank account, that is part of current assets also, so again, part of the balance sheet. The last item, expenses, is part of the profit and loss because it is, in this case, the entirety of the profit and loss section of the profit and loss statement. So therefore, it is PNL. Okay, once you've done that, then you prepare your profit and loss statement. Always a good idea to uh, start with uh, the name of the company. So John Byte Profit and Loss Statement for and give the date for the year. Oops, the year ending. I think it was 31st of December, 1999. Uh, then if you can uh, put a bold on that, move it into the centre, whoops, make it bold. So there's our heading. Now how do we construct the profit and loss statement? I'll come over to here. So as I said, 
The first section of the profit and loss statement is the trading account. So I'll head this one up. Trading account. The first item in the trading account is sales. So sales and I will put the dollar amount. I'll put that over on the right hand side. We'll put dollars. We'll go down. And we will put the sales amount from the table above, which is 100. And we should, of course, stipulate that this is in thousands of dollars. And I will fold that. The next item we need to take into account is cost of goods sold. The cost of goods sold means that it is the cost of producing uh, the goods for John Byte and his cost of goods sold is listed as 60. I'll try and line it up. Oops, that's not too good. 60. Okay, then I'll underline that because sales less cost of goods sold leaves us with gross profit. Obviously, in this case, gross profit is 100 minus the 60, which is 40. Okay, the next section that they want us to uh, take notice of is the profit and loss account itself. So we put profit and loss account. And the only item we have in here is expenses. Normally the expenses would be listed itemized separately, so we might have things like lighting, heating, electricity, but in this case they've simply given us one lump sum figure of 20. Deducting that from our gross profit of 40 leaves us with net profit Figure of twenty. And that is all we need to do in terms of calculating uh, John Byte's profit and loss statement for the year ending. December 31st, 1999.